It is not unusual when a couple gets married for the wife to pick up some of the uh, interests that the husband has. Golf, hiking, fishing, mountain climbing. Josephine Chang has got the story. How far would a woman go to be with her man? In Susan Ursler's case, to the ends of the earth and the top of the world. It was the best day of my life. That's really? for sure, uh, without, uh, without a doubt. Just goes to show you can never guess where love will take you. Sure in 1992, when Susan met out. Phil Ursler at a Christmas party, she knew nothing tell. about his world, the Phil elite, male-dominated world of mountain climbing, sure where he was a renowned right. guide. We would go to a function uh, like that Christmas party, and people would be talking about carabiners, crampons, and I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> you didn't know what a carabiner was? N no. <laughs> The only kind of climbing Susan knew was climbing the corporate ladder. But after she and Phil fell in love, the familiar face of Mount Rainier never looked the same again. So what made you decide to start climbing after you met? I wanted to understand what he did for a living. And I just thought, OK, this is great. He invited me to go to Rainier. I'll go try it. It nearly killed my quad, <laughs> but uh, I got up there. And then it was just so, what an incredible feeling of accomplishment. That's what I loved about it. OK. Here we go. As their love grew, so did their climbing ambitions. Got about 50 pounds in here. Yeah, that's good too. Do a little sidestep and you can With Phil as her personal trainer, Susan trail. began preparing to tackle what few climbers ever achieve, to summit the tallest peaks on all seven continents. I'm not going to be able to uh, provide certain things for Susan, but one of the things that I am able to provide was a means by which she had the opportunity to see the world and see the world in kind of an interesting way. Over the next six years, every vacation became a globe-trotting climbing adventure. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, Mount Elbrus, Russia, North America's highest peak, Mount McKinley, Aconcagua in South America, Mount Vincent in Antarctica, and down under in Australia, Mount Kosciuszko. Susan was close to joining the exclusive club of peak baggers who were Phil's buddies. What are some reactions that you've gotten from other people who hear that you're mountain climbing as a couple? I think envious slash jealous. You bet. That I think two things. You know, one is that we have the relationship that not only allows us to do it, but uh, makes us want to do it and and then two to be able to share those experiences together I think right. I think people are a little bit envious and, and that's okay but the last mountain on the seventh continent would be no vacation Mount Everest the legendary behemoth that stretches halfway to heaven and swallows men whole Mount Everest was extremely intimidating to me. In 2001, Susan devoted a year of training and three months off work to the climb. Her birthday was spent huddled on the flanks of Everest. My hair has not been washed in over a week. I'm looking forward to Starbucks and a latte. Climbing to within 1,500 feet of the summit, Phil lost his eyesight, a temporary effect of extreme wind and cold. The climb was over. There's no way you can leave here. Way, way, way too dangerous. But the very next year, they were back. And you gotta give Susan credit. There was no way we were not going back to Everest, <laughs> whether I wanted to or not. Hey, Suze, you did a good job on that stretch of the ice hall. Thanks, yeah. This time, intense preparation and training was rewarded with a break in the weather. Looking good, Suze. In May 2002, Susan and Phil set a record as the first married couple to complete the seven summits. Susie. Yay, we made it. I just looked at Sue and I said, you made it, baby. <laughs> and it really was a fulfilling moment for the two of us. It was just unbelievable. You know, there's nothing I don't think that you could do that was that special and have those kinds of feelings. South Summit. It had taken 10 years, but Susan and Phil Ursler accomplished what no one else has and reached new heights as a couple. The opportunity to do it as a couple, it just, it, it expanded the difficulties by a factor of two, but it increased the joy by a factor of 100. So how far would they go for each other to the ends of the earth and the top of the world? And they're still together on a mountain high. Hey, if you'd like to get in touch with Phil and Susan, you can. They've got two separate websites. Phil's got a website, 
Susan's got a website, and, well, King5's got a website. Go to king5.com. We'll put you in touch with a couple.